Hello, this is Hakuna Bean, and today I am going to be a teacher. By that, I mean I'm going to be defining some common uh, terms used in VTubing. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to your channel. Now let's get right into this. Although there will be no transition, we, all, we will not be opening a browser window for anything. This is just going to be me talking. So I better be good enough to actually read. We're going to start off with some simple terms, and we're going to get into some terms that are a little bit less well-known in the realm of VTuber spaces, or terms that are more new and unknown to a lot of people. So to start off with, a term that everyone who, who has in, even a passing interest in VTubers knows, VTuber. Like me and everyone who is a VTuber. A VTuber is a virtual YouTuber who creates content using a virtual avatar. The history of VTubing actually started with Kizuna Ai, if you remember her, who coined the term after saying that she was a virtual YouTuber for so long. That's where a lot of this comes from. Anyway, a lot of VTubers start with debut streams. When a new VTuber is introduced, they often hold a debut stream as a fresh official appearance. These streams are meant to introduce a VTuber to their audience and showcase their avatar and personality. The idea is to build hype around your VTuber model and your streams in general so that uh, when you go live for the first time, there's a crowd of followers ready to support you. I did mine absolutely wrong, but a lot of VTubers have amazing debut streams, and they usually last around an hour to a couple of hours, depending on the VTuber. Almost every VTuber uses face tracking. Even I'm using that in these videos. Auto, my computer does not like it. It is how my face is able to move and how my I had rotates in general. Speaking of of my model, and any model in general, there are mostly two different types of models for a VTuber that uses face tracking. These being a 2D model, which is a, a VTuber avatar made up of flat 2D art that has been rigged to move. Various elements of the avatar, including eyes, mouth, eyebrows, and even certain pieces of hair, accessories, and body parts are drawn on using software like Procreate or Photoshop and saved onto different layers. Or kind of what I have here, which is a 3D model. These avatars are created using 3D modeling software, and we customize to have unique appearances, movements, and, and expressions. The 3D model is then rigged with a skeleton system, which allows the YouTuber to animate the avatar in real time during their, their streams or videos. Well, mine doesn't animate in real time. I don't, I don't know or, 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 or how that works, but the, mine does, does keep in line with my face and where it is. It might not blink at the same time as me. The mouth somewhat opens up at the same time as me. And if I grab my keyboard here, I can change the expression. I think you remember this from on um, when I first started at VTubing. For the most part, I don't use that at all. Because I just don't really have any reason to. Another kind of VTuber, which I was um, contemplating on being, is a PNG tuber. A term used to describe virtual o o content creators who use a stack image or PNG file as their avatar instead of a fully animated 2D or 3D character. The term PNG 
refers to a type of image file format that supports transparency, allowing the your avatar to be superimposed on top of the YouTuber's video feed during a live stream or recording. Problem with um, trying to be a PNG YouTuber is that I have to try and superimpose it on my screen, and that just doesn't seem as worth it as, let's say, doing what I'm doing here. Which I'm only able to do because of my friends. There are some more or things that some VTubers are doing. I think I think I remember or Zen was doing this at one point in time, which is hand tracking, which is used to capture movements and positions of the VTubers' hands and translate them into the corresponding movements and positions in their virtual avatar's hands. I think I remember seeing in Zentreya of the Shoujo doing this when I was still interested. I lost interest as for multiple reasons that have actually little to nothing to do with the actual drama surrounding English Shoujo. Damn, they've been through a lot. Anyway. <sighs> I think that as you saw, I can pretty easily change my form. Actually, I'm going to do that really quickly. And there we go, new form. Technically. I had to use a whole different model just to get a mask on. And yes, when a VTuber changes the appearance or design of their avatar, either temporarily or permanently, this, this can include changes to the avatar's clothing, hairstyle, accessories, or overall appearance. As you can see, I changed from showing my face and my mouth to having a mask on. I'm going to change back. Mask is back off. I did that a lot more when I was um, doing, trying to do that debut that did not work out too well. Here's something that I actually have not ever done, and I don't know if I ever will. It's a collab, or collaboration, a term used to describe when two or more VTubers work together on a piece of content. This is usually when VTubers come together to stream at the same time. As you might have noticed, a lot of VTuber culture is surrounded with streaming rather than making videos. That is where I, as a VTuber, differ and I might even fail. <sighs> and a lot of VTubers have fan art, artwork created by fans of a VTuber or their or avatar. I think I had some at one time, but I did not like it, so I kind of stopped. So I kind of stopped of letting people make that. Then also people lost interest when I got my original Twitter account banned. But as a part of a lot of debut streams, there are introduction videos. which are a way to introduce their, themselves and their avatar to their audience. A lot of these videos have a lot of lore. Sometimes. These are those uh, little uh, videos that you see before the actual start of the stream. 
like if you remember um Rucker Royan from literally in my current favorite I um VTuber group Idol. Her lore video was literally about how she used to be a pet rock game and then these two rats kind of made her into a character or whatever. <laughs> I did like 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 that. Anyway. A mama or papa is a be is a, is a VTuber's commissioned character designer. Commissioned usually entails that you paid to have these characters made for you. I did not. It was done as a favor because uh, the people who made these characters actually in just want to make these characters as we were already friends. Except for the first one. The first one was a stranger who just liked making 3D models for, um, with their Freud studio or whatever. I mean, they were friendly, but they disappeared for some reason, which is why I don't use that model anymore. Now here's a term that I think got a little bit more popular recently with the release of Oshi no Okoi. And yes, it is a term Oshi, which is uh, a term refer used to refer to a, v uh, to a viewer's favorite VTuber. Originally from Japanese word for push forward or to support. I think my, o my Oshi would have to be... Ren Penrose. <laughs> Sorry. And a reveal. This is something I have not done for you. And probably won't do for you. Use in the VTubing community to refer to the moment when a virtual YouTuber reveals their true identity or appearance to their audience. The reveal could take various forms, such as a live stream or video, or social media posts may include details about the VTuber's real name, age, location, or personal background. I think the best you get is probably my age and maybe general location. And heck, maybe a little bit about my, my personal background once in a while, but I'm not going to do much. When it comes to my real name, as far as I'm concerned, and as far as you need to be concerned, my name is Haku. That is the only name you need to know me by. My eyes are weird. <laughs> I would consider most VTubers to be my senpai, a Japanese term used to address someone who is senior or more experienced. As I, I'm just winging it out here. All right, some more are terms such as stream sniping, which is the act of deliberately joining a VTuber's game or chat session in order to gain an unfair advantage or disrupt the stream. And this is for like any streamer or not just VTubers so. though. And then we have something that I don't think I'll have on my channel for a while now. Super Chats, a feature on YouTube that allows viewers to donate money and have their message highlighted during a live stream. Super Chats are used, often used by fans to show support for their favorite VTubers. Another term is, um, it's also referred to as Supa or Supa Chat, which, okay. Another term is uh, Aka Supa, which is uh, Red Super Chat, the highest tier of Super Chats. I think those are like $500 or something. And hey, what this could kind of be is a Zatsudan, which is a type of VTuber content that involves conversation or discussion. Okay, maybe not. Also known as just chatting because it's supposed to be like teaching. 
Oh yeah. And as I am reading this off something, but I don't think it's the best source for VTuber information. There's some stuff that isn't there and some stuff that is. Anyway, um, here we have rig, rigger, or rigging, the process of creating a digital skeletal system for a 3D model or virtual avatar, which allows it to be animated in real time during a live stream or recording. The rig is the digital skeleton itself, and the person who creates it is called a rigger. Rigging is a crucial step in creating a 3D model for a virtual avatar for VTubing, as it allows the VTubers to control the movements and expressions of their avatar in real time. Usually the person who makes a model is different from the person who actually makes it move. It seems like in my case, and maybe for a lot of other VTubers who use void models on VC face, the rigging is done by the software itself instead of by someone who's making the thing, which makes it a lot easier to make a model for someone to have fun on with. <sighs> also, I recently saw a question on some on a short by, by a different VTuber where it was like, why are all the white-haired VTubers Patan? Heckin' rude, first of all. And secondly, that term might actually be important. Patan means flat-chested. It refers to VTubers who's, who don't have any boing-boing, so to speak. AKA their models don't have a, You know, boobs or whatever. Wait. That's me. <laughs> I am not. I'm not Patan. Shut up. And actually, Boing Boing means that you have large or sizable boobs at all. I hear something that VTubers try to avoid at every cost, which is doxing, the act of publicly revealing personal information about a VTuber, such as their real name or address. Generally, this practice is looked down upon in the VTubing in, in community. Yeah, because people don't want their real life information to be publicly known. I mean, sure. You'll know my freaking... Um, name that I go by, but you'll never know the name that is still on my ID card for now. And you will absolutely never know my address. Oh yeah, there's also this term. Damn, this, this particular dictionary is really bad. All right. Nekomimi, a term used to describe cat ears, which are a common feature on many VTuber avatars. I've got a pair. I've got a pair. Right up here. Look at them. Look at my I cat ears. Overlays, something that I still need to work on getting. A type of VTuber asset that is displayed over a VTuber's live stream to provide additional information or visual interest. Overlays can be customized to match VTuber's branding and aesthetic, and are often used to enhance the viewer's experience and engage with the stream. Overlays are sometimes available through streaming software used for VTubing, such as Streamlabs Desktop, or can be downloaded slash purchased from artists. I'm on OBS, but I still need to get some overlays on my videos. One day. One day. Looks like the only other things that people have is um, 
just like the two names of VTuber corporations. Oh yeah, corporate VTubers are basically VTubers that join with agencies to make their content. There's nothing wrong with them. There's nothing bad about being a corporate VTuber. I think some of the most popular examples are Hololive, which is a corporation that started in Japan and happens to feature a lot of the original VTubers that kind of brought the concept over in to other places. Actually, here it is in the dictionary that I'm using. Hololive, a virtual YouTuber agency in Japan that manages a roster of popular VTubers. This includes VTubers such as Garagura, uh, Amelia Watson, Hanashi Mume. I think you've also heard of uh, Kaliopi and um, I do not know if that's how you're supposed to pronounce their name. I just called him Kali. <laughs> Um, this also is where a lot of VTubers got fired, supposedly, from their, uh, from, um, uh, um, the incorporations. Like, um, Rushia, if you remember her. Or, more recently, Yosero Mel from, um, Gen 1. Anyway, the company is owned by a Japanese tech company, called Cover Corporation. I feel like Hololive came before they a, a became part of the Cover Corporation, but I'm not sure. My Holo Yen, or Hololive English, is a branch of the Hololive agency that features English-speaking VTubers. That's where most of the VTubers I mentioned are from. And there's V Shoujo. Which used to have some VTubers, but now is, um, I think, Melody, Fruit, uh, I can't remember. I'm quite sure there's more. I mean, there used to be Kason and um, the other one. I forgot her name. Dang. Oh well. I mean, V Shoujo also used to have um, some VTubers that left it because, uh, wow, we can't be bigots on, and on well affiliated with V Shoujo, I guess. Those would be Vey, who literally right after leaving decided to say the Arsler. Great, a job. Neanners, who I've been kind of iffy about lately anyway. And Silverbell, who literally quadrupled down on, on, on a game that people were saying, hey, this might I'd look really bad. Turns out the game wasn't a big deal, but her literally calling people, calling a whole bunch of trans people, all freaks was a big deal and kind of of out her as a turf. But her, I believe if, if that she is or not is kind of irrelevant. She kind of screwed that of hooch on that one. Hang on, there's another one. Whew. Oh yeah, Anti. Anti is someone who is really against a particular VTuber, while some Antis might simply dislike them, some might go as far as bullying them to try to get them to retire or even dox them. When I dislike a VTuber, I just avoid watching their content. Some people will take it way too far. I don't get that. I might talk bad about some VTubers that I don't unlike once in a while. 
but for the most part, I don't want to actually support any sort of action being taken against them. This is actually more stuff that is used in Hololive than most VTuber agencies. Um, Bakage is a Japanese meaning silly game. Bakage are games played on streams that are purely nonsensical or not, and are not to be taken seriously. It's kind of uh, what you expect when you're having just a relaxing stream with a VTuber. If I could record games, I would be playing a lot of Bakage if I could. Lots of games. Lots of games are a common element in Japanese variety shows, meaning punishment game. This takes place when a losing VTuber or, or takes a challenge which is unpleasant to them. I think I've seen some VTubers do this. Oh yeah, this meme. Does anyone here remember the bottom left joke? No? Okay, I'll just explain it. Bottom left is a term originating from a, from a stream by Takanashi Kiara. Remembers of all live English myth were ranked on a compass based on their parody and intelligence. Someone lacking in both will be placed in the bottom left part of the compass. Kiara's as illustrator suggested, she belongs in that place of the graph. Other members and the fans have used the scale in different in quadrants, but ultimately the bottom left part remains the most popular. The term has since evolved and is primarily used for those lacking in only in the purity scale. I think that means it devolved more rather right, than and evolved. Huh. It looks like I'm learning a thing or two here. DD, acronym for Dare Demo Daisuke. It's a term used for fans that like multiple VTubers of a that like multiple members of a VTuber group. Also a term used in idol communities. I think they mean idol as in like actual idols, not like the VTuber group. Daipan, which you hear a lot in VTuber or, or videos, is the action of hitting a desk out of frustration. You ever see that little um, thing when someone hits a desk and it's at, as like minus 10 HP? That's pretty much because of a Daipan. They view voice refers to a voice of a, a VTuber uses during the a view, which is sometimes different from the voice they use later. Notable example is Mori Eliopi. I think that's how you say it. She used a much higher voice during her debut than the one she currently does. I think I was still struggling with my voice during my debut, so. Did I say debut? Wow. Okay, anyway. So I think my voice was still iffy. My voice is still iffy now. I change it a lot. Deskun. Deskun is a term usually used whenever VTuber hits their desk when frustrated, often followed by negative health point values. Deskun minus 10 HP. Deskun minus 100 HP. Exact number depending on how hard they hit the desk. <sighs> Drama tuber. Drama tubers are YouTubers who may or may not but also be VTubers whose content is based around drama in their circle, in this case VTubers. Drama tubers are infamous but are using sources of dubious 
is credibility, for example, 4chan, and presenting their findings as facts. As a result, many consider them immoral who, who will lie in hopes of more views. As a result, ultimately, what it causes from drama tubers, one should always check the source. I'm not a drama tuber, but I will say that my opinions are completely I I from dubious credibility, aka stuff that they say on, tw on Twitter, their streams, or just my own personal, just I made it the heck up. I don't, I don't, I don't see it as a fact. You don't have to either. Ego search, something I can't do right now. It's short for ego searching or ego surfing. It is the act of looking up one's own username online to read about themselves. Nobody knows me. <laughs> I've got 150 subscribers. That's actually a huge number for me. But I'm still not going to search up when I look up Haku. All that's going to search, all that's going to appear is a freaking. Naruto characters. Oh, particularly the one Naruto character. Order character from Spirited Away, but not me. I'm not appearing when I search a Paku. Nine times soon. Ian Curse. Ian Curse refers to the odd tendency uh, for members of Hot Life English and of English language YouTubers in general to suffer tech technical issues, particularly around their debut. Is that why my computer breaks when I'm trying to record a video? I clearly speak English. I, from the English, well, mostly English-speaking nation. I refuse. I, I refuse to give Karen any reason to say I speak English. Screw that. Hmm. <sighs> And yes, I'm going in alphabetical order. That's what uh, this is. Well, I'm skipping things that I don't think are relevant. Gachikoi is a term describing fans are in love with a VTuber as well as a state of being in love with one. Also a term used in idol communities. If I see any of you say Gachikoi in my comments, I am going to be really not happy. <laughs> Gorilla streams are not officially scheduled in advance. Viewers may not know about the stream happening until the moment they begin. Some YouTubers announce or decide if they will do a Gorilla stream or not in, on their social media. Which in the case of like Hololive or most VTubers like this, it's on Twitter. And no, I will not call it by a new name. Musk can uh, uh, and sniff my musk or something. I don't know. I don't know. GWS story for get well soon. Used as a response to people who are. What? Acting halu, often accompanied by a picture of, of a pill. What does that mean? Halu is short for the Indonesian and word halu usinaso. I don't know if I said that right, which directly translates to hallucination and is commonly used to describe someone who is delusional and has unreasonable beliefs, like being married to a talent. Oh. So, anyone who thinks that they're dating a VTuber. Which was actually 9% of her she has fans. Anyway. Horror gay is short for horror games. Ikebo is short for Ikemen voice, which means a handsome guy's voice, often used to describe a female VTuber speaking in their handsome male voice. Also a term used in Utai Itei community? What does that mean? I don't think I've ever done Ikemen voice. No, I've done an um, 
dude voices. I'm just not good at it. Aikize is short for Ikuzo, which is Japanese for let's go. Frequently said it in tr at when something is about to happen. <laughs> and when ND is short for independent, while the term is used in various separate communities and industries, and VTubing, ND refers to a VTuber who is not affiliated with a company. That's me. That's just me. <sighs> oh yeah, Kamige, a opposite of Kuzuge, means God plus game, a superior or very well game. I have my own opinion about what is a Kamige then. Son of five royal, tears of the kingdom. Kusa is Japanese for grass and, and and is also an internet slang and roughly equivalent to LOL. Laughing is often an express using W, which stands for war, meaning laughter. Lots of W's in a row looks like grass. It kind of does, yeah. Kusagaki is a term used to describe a person who acts like a spoiled brat. It can also be used as a nickname for... Marasaki Shion, Kobo Kan Aeru, Lapless Darkness, and Makina X Flayon. Damn. I did not mean to accidentally call the amount like that. Kusuke is Japanese, is slang roughly meaning very bad game. It's our most commonly used to describe video games, but can describe the, I mean, can be used to describe any game. Such games may have poor quality and or frustrating in gameplay. Listener <sighs> is a term that most live streamers, including Hall Life Talents, use to refer to people watching the stream. The term originated in radio talk shows where listeners could send mail and postcards to be read on the air. This type of interaction between a talent and their audience is similar to what is found in live stream videos, so name was adopted as is. Other similar, similar names for viewing audience are not used because they, it may be confusing. Citra Osha refers to television viewers, while viewer is also used to refer to physical computer screens. Hmm. Too bad I don't stream live, which is very sad. Oh, Menba Gentai or Mengen is short for member Gen or members only. This refers to streams and videos only members of YouTuber's channel can access and participate in. MD, which is short for Miku Miku Dance, they are I made 3D models that can track a person's movement and replicate them on screen. Most work for YouTube. Ubers use them for streaming in their 3D forums. See also Miki Miki Dance on Wikipedia. I tried to start making one or like transfer my freaking different model from different from a game to be an MMD and I just couldn't get it to work. It just wouldn't run on my computer and I'm not sure if that's because it's like for MacBook or because my computer is rubbish or what. Niji Sanji, sometimes written as uh, 2434, read Niji, Niji Sanji in, Japan, in Japanese. A Japan based VTuber group and a large VTuber group in the world by the amount of members. Aside from the main branch, they also have an English language branch. They also have Korean and Indonesian branches, but they are merged into the main branch. Hall Life members have semi frequent collaborations with members of Niji Sanji. 
Nijisanji is huge and it has a lot of VTubers, which means it has a lot of stuff going on. Like at any given time. I don't really watch Nijisanji or really Hall of Life these days. Really, when it comes to VTubers, I just listen to Rin. Mayoshi, basically. <laughs> I mean, I like the other ones, I just don't really watch them. I'm sorry. Anyway, Off Collab is short for Offline Collaboration, a collaboration where two or more VTubers meet each other in reality rather than online as is usual for co collaborations. So this is basically when VTubers are both in the same room for their collab. Okay, here we are. Fatanko, or simply Fatan, roughly translating as completely flat, is a term for those who are flat-chested, opposite of boing boing. Fatank is a meme referring to... Arushia's dislike for being called Fatanko. Everyone I'm trying to say that she is one has her sense cut short and flying she killed them for trying to call her a Fatanko. That sounds like they should just stop then. Say so, VTuber meme. Say so is a term which can be translated as wholesome. It refers to a character type defined by innocence, purity, and pr propriety. It is also used ironically to refer to a character who definitely does not have those qualities, or who tries and fails to act pure and wholesome. Say so is as a meme originated with Ciro, and is strongly associated with Tsuki no Mito, in both cases an ironic us usage. Sibling. VTubers who have the same character designer or life to the modeler, such as um, Shiro Nui Flair and Arand Isu. And VTubers is, is more common definition and rarely refers to blood relatives unless specified. I don't think I have any siblings as a VTuber. I'm an only child. Not as bad as real life. <sighs> Alright. Taiki. Taiki means standby. Viewers use it on the and it was live chat to indicate that they are waiting before the scheduled stream begins. Teapot, a safety word, primarily used with Amelia Watson, that the viewer set as when the live stream is lacking or got discontinued. Don't use that word with me. <laughs> um, TT, a VTuber slang. It comes from toy toy, meaning precious, usually written in Jap. I'm not I'm gonna try and to dictate the Japanese characters. Tatsumachi, Japanese meaning call in. Tatsumachi are streams where a VTuber waits for a free range callers. Usually other VTubers to take current turns having unscripted conversations with the host. The guests can potentially introduce subjects or questions that the host is unprepared for or are reluctant to discuss on air. So Tatsumachi can be considered a form of Batsu game. For I'm um, losing a competitive bet. Conversely, a reverse Hatsumat achieves a stream where a VTuber will call guests. This can be pre arranged or not. Utawaku, Japanese for live singing. I'm not going to sing for you, sorry. Utawaku are streams where VTubers sing songs live through a track list that may or may not be completely predetermined. The singer may a, a solicit viewer suggestions and may a also fulfill viewer requests by briefly seeking a, in a cappella for a few lines of the requested song. Oh yeah, we get some more um, terms for or, or, or different kinds of VTubers. A VTuber is what uh, is someone who actually makes the content. A VTweeter is a derogatory term referring to people who claim to be VTubers 
but spend little to no time streaming and instead spend their time using Twitter. A typical VTweeter has to debut indefinitely as to be discussed and their tweets are often political in nature. Or it tweets are just about other VTubers. It's never actually about anything in fun. It's always just VTuber stuff about how this VTuber is awful for whatever reason. It just gets not really fun at some point. And they get so hateful of VTubers who actually are VTubing, you know? VT. VT is the VTuber board of 4chan. This board is infamous in the VTuber community for having a lot of antis. YouTube Kun, though it can be, re though it can refer to YouTube in general, YouTube Kun is a term that is most often used when talking about YouTube in a negative sense. Most often, when the stream is having connection issues. <sighs> Zen laws. Oh wait, I forgot to actually go with. Yagu. Nickname of the cover core CEO, Omoto Aki Itanigo. Oh, the nickname Yagu originate itself originated from one of Robocos streams where Azura Subaru misspelled Itanigo as Yagu. Anyway, Zen loss, meaning total loss. Zen loss is a combination of Zenbu, or all, and loss, referring to the massive losses. VTubers experience in games, like losing items they took a long time to gather and farm for, typically a term used for or Minecraft streams. Obviously a lot of these terms are never going to refer, are never going to be relevant in my comments or, or chat, but they can be relevant in your uh, general direction of watching VTubers. There's a lot more to know about interacting with VTubers. Like one, we are content creators. We are not, not really supposed to be your friend or anything in, in beyond a content creator. Do you view Mark Flyer as your close friend? I hope not. He's just making video games. He, don't, uh, he doesn't want that drama. I don't want that drama. Well, I might I view you as a very a, a good friend for or subscribing, viewing my content, liking the contents, leaving your, your comments, hell, even disliking and leaving hate comments on my content that I will, will eventually delete anyway. Because I just don't need that negativity in my life. And also, I'm small enough to delete the annoying comments I don't like. I don't know anything about you. You know a lot about me. Probably more than you should. <laughs> VTubers are not dating you. I know I'm adorable. But I'm not into you. I don't know you. I don't know anything about you. This isn't a relationship I'm ready to have anyway. <sighs> Alright, I think that's enough for now. This is almost an hour long of just me reading dictionary things and saying some things about how to interact with VTubers. Just be respectful, be kind. For heck's sake, have fun. Try to enjoy yourself and your our interactions with VTubers. If you're coming here from like not YouTube, like if you're one of my friends on like Discord or wherever, 
Welcome to the video. Generally, thank you for coming by. Anyway, I have no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow. So until then, goodbye.